not sure this is the best idea I had, but I'm hoping this rain isn't going to last. Um, there's blue skies over here if we have a look around. So over there, the other side of the car park, blue skies. Yay, please. So I'm actually at Western Burt Arboretum. You may recall we came here uh, last year and we did the um, Enchanted Christmas here with all the lights. I'll put a link in the description and what have you. So go and check that out, but um, it's autumn. And this past week, you may remember if you watched uh, the last video, it went with uh, forest. The trees have started to turn, but not quite, but this last week or so, they've turned. And this is probably my only opportunity to get here. So I thought, you know, to hell with the weather. Let's just go and enjoy ourselves, see the colors. So I uh, thought I'd bring you guys along with me. And you can have a look at some of the uh, beautiful autumnal colors. And as if by magic the sun is out uh, so it is actually pretty well organized here given that i'll be expecting probably hundreds of thousands of visitors in these few weeks the golden weeks as they call them um we've got a really nice visitor reception if you like i booked the tickets online so it's just a case of coming in scanning the code and as you can see it's beautiful here there is a uh, map you get given as well so that's really helpful um, that helps us plan the day, although I've been here a few times, so there's like a, on the left, a new arboretum and then on the right there is the old arboretum and it's the old arboretum we're going to head to first because I know there's some pretty spectacular coloured trees there. The new arboretum has a few more sort of like maples and that kind of thing, so some really great colours, but the old arboretum is, uh, is really where the action is at. So I figured do that first. Uh, just in case absolute tips down again later and uh, yeah there is a, a bridge as well so there's a lot of people heading over to New Arboretum so there's a bridge that takes you across into there um, so hopefully we get time to visit that a little bit later on there's no real time restraint on us we're just going to uh, enjoy it and enjoy this beautiful countryside I mean look at this it's absolutely amazing and don't forget too as well all my photos will be on Instagram, so don't forget to give me a cheeky follow over there. You know what to do. I don't know about you, but there's something very magical about autumn, which brings a smile to your face. I mean, I think there's too much emphasis put on things like Halloween that we get at the end of the month. Um, it's my birthday in October, so I, I love October anyway, but just finding conkers, you know. It's just something very simple being out with nature. I love it. it. Just puts a smile on my face and there's thousands of things here. So have you, have you ever gone conquer fights? I don't think we're allowed to do them anymore because of health and safety rules and God knows what else. But I used to love picking conkers as a kid. Drilling a hole through it, perhaps doing something like putting them in vinegar or something like that. And then having conquer fights in school. My God, you wouldn't be allowed to do that now, would you? Crazy. <laughs> love it. I don't think I've used my patron coffee fund yet this month, so thank you. Coffee later. Uh, but for now, enough conquering. Let's get in the forest or the woods or the arboretum and enjoy. Incidentally, I think it probably is worth considering becoming a friend of Western Burt or any other kind of uh, location like this. They usually have annual memberships. I think visit three times, you kind of pay for it. And just looking at the sign back there, it's going to be amazing in spring when all these rhododendrons come out. Hello. So we're at the yellow dot in the Old Arboretum. And I think, rather than circular drive, we're going to go down this way through the glade. And I think we've definitely missed some of the trees because the leaves off these. And that's been the problem the last week is we've had a lot of trees change colour. A lot of them have shed their leaves, leaves straight away. But I know, just walking through here, you can see there's a very yellowy tree there on the left behind these trees. Some wonderful red leaves just coming through. And the same over on this side. So this tree, which can be amazing colour, hasn't quite turned yet. The outer leaves have where it's been hitting the sun 
the inner leaves, maybe a week, and that will look gorgeous. Well, let's have a look from this side as well, because if this is the open area hitting the sun, yeah, looks beautiful. I think that's going to be so amazing. You can see the red at the top, but another few days, week, who knows? So another reason probably to be a member of places like this. Then you just nip back. It's only, what, 30, 40 minutes from where I live. So, yeah, I might go, there's a marquee down there, so I might go and uh, have a chat with them. See if I can swap my admission today for part payment towards a membership. Now I think if we look hard enough, we can find the Gruffalo somewhere in the forest, hiding. And the sea owl. Oh, I can see the snake. There's a snake. Here's owl. Owl. another character but where is the Gruffalo? I think I see him through here. Let's find the Gruffalo on the Gruffalo trail. Can you see the Gruffalo yet? <laughs> okay I can see him now. Well, that was brilliant. There was a mum there with a little boy with the Gruffalo storybook reading the Gruffalo story with the Gruffalo. I think it's one of his favourite stories and they came here looking for the Gruffalo. And evidently over in Silkwood, there's a Gruffalo's child. So yeah, I'm gonna have to go and find that now, aren't we? So I'm now at the kind of end of the um, Arboretum, or the far end, shall we say. Uh, it's much quieter down here. I think a lot of people don't venture down this far, which is a shame because there's so much to see here with the, uh, the trees and there's that Lime Avenue we've just gone past there, which looks absolutely stunning. I've done some photos of that. Um, as I said, posting a lot of this to my Instagram, so go and check that out as well. Yeah, look at it here. Absolutely gorgeous. Whoa, sun up there blue skies above us and rain clouds over there so hmm hope, hopefully we don't uh, hopefully we don't get too wet but uh, yeah there's some horses for here so I might go and say hello to them and then uh, we'll head back towards 
the main centre. Um, and if it's raining, grab a coffee. If not, head over to Silkwood. Incidentally, tomorrow, in my world, not in your world because this is already gone, but tomorrow I'm planning on going to or back to the National Trust Stourhead, which I visited a while ago and did a video on, but it should look amazing. But I'll probably only do that as a patron only video because I've already put it on the channel, but I'm sure my patrons want to see it. So just up ahead is the lodge gates where uh, Robert Holford would have brought his guests from the main house, which used to belong to this uh, Arboretum, or the Arboretum belonged to, shall we say. And he used to bring his guests through these gates into the Arboretum, which was probably the height of fashion back in those days to have these country estates and beautiful Arboretums around them. But look at this, how gorgeous is that? Doesn't that look amazing? And that worth the trip? along here. Okay, I think it's time to leave the old Arbrutum, head across the bridge, and uh, yeah, let's go and find, uh, I think there's a load of maples over there, so I think that's what I'm going to look out for. There is a really old ash tree, I want to say, but I don't know if it is, it's a 200 year old tree, and Gruffalo's Trials. So, three things to find should be able to do it and there's food but I just have some chocolate and a drink so I'm gonna leave that for now get a coffee when I get back Of course, one thing you're going to see more over in Silkwood is dogs because they're not allowed in the old Arboretum, but they are allowed here, so lots of doggies around as well as kids and people and trees. So over this side as well, the trees are much more varied because obviously the more modern plantation. But what we're looking for is maple loop, which is a load of Japanese maple trees. And they're going to look glorious, he says confidently. There's a big old trunk. But I guess this is maple loop looking at the colour. And it goes down that way, so yeah, let's follow it. bag there of uh, maples going around some of them not even turned yet it was absolutely beautiful especially when the sun comes out so I've done the complete loop now I'm going back to the best bits to get some photos um, 
because I think some of them were the windy path as they went through. It's amazing. So that lime tree is definitely 2,000 years old. That's, that's predating the Romans here in Britain. Um, but I guess it, it kind of stands because even though it doesn't look big, it's all connected and because they're coppicing it, every time it's cut down, it's a stump, new shoots grow. So um, yeah, so the original root system and tree system, a couple of thousand years old. That kind of beats the tree that we uh, had in Wentwood the other day, doesn't it? I thought it was going to be a couple hundred years old, but couple of thousand that's an old tree now the next question is can we find the gruffalo's child uh, this actually area of silk wood is actually massive I've only probably seen maybe a quarter of it um, there's a lot to see and do here a lot to walk around a lot of different trees so um, yeah I think for me it's time for a coffee but can I find gruffalo's child I've never seen it here. I've always seen I've seen the gruffalo before because I always go to the arboretum, um, and we saw it in the um, Enchanted Christmas, and yeah, seen it a few times. But can we find it, gruffalo's child, in the woodland here somewhere? But where? So I'm hoping it's down this path, um, kind of over in this direction. But yeah, we should find out. Stay tuned. Hit a like. Tell me in the comments, do we find it? Without skipping and cheating. Um, and reminds me, well, I'm on the subject. If you're not already subscribed, why not? I think uh, it's something like 10% of uh, people who watch my videos are subscribed and the rest aren't. So go subscribe, it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. And it just means that you'll know where I am when you want to come back and watch more videos. And um, you know, you get notifications when it's live. child <laughs> all on his lonesome he looks cute though doesn't he <laughs> so where have we been today well we parked the car here we walked over to here I've done a complete loop all around this one and then I've come over the bridge all the way down here around Maple a few times along here, round past the Gruffalo's Child, and here. So it's a walk back across the valley, coffee. Okay, gate, cattle grid, gate, cattle grid. Cattle grid, of course. Anybody else the same? <laughs> Ah yes, coffee and hello by the way. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna head back to the car now. So uh, let me know now in the comments. What do you think of Western Burt? It's a beautiful place, I think. I think it's got a lot of potential. They actually have events here as well. So you can have concerts here and do a lot. It'll be interesting to see it different times of the year. Come back in the winter, come back in the spring and the summer. Yeah, so I've uh, really had a good day. And the weather has been pretty good, to be honest. Considering when we arrived, it was absolutely raining. Um, so yeah, had a really, really good day. Glad I... Glad I booked it, glad I came. 
glad I made the decision even though the weather looked like it was horrible and hopefully you guys enjoyed it too so uh, don't forget to subscribe all the usual things so you get notifications when new videos come up you don't have to go searching for me and all that kind of malarkey uh, and obviously the things that really help giving it a thumbs up just clicking on that like button and uh, yeah if you want to support me buy me a coffee or in this case it was a hot chocolate it's winter head over to Patreon so yeah thanks for watching guys we'll see you next time take care bye bye Dreaming on my energy How did I get